Welcome to Shorthanded Sailing with me, Pip Hare and Key Yachty. In this series, we're going to break down the key manoeuvres that double-handed teams must execute and show you how only two people can sail a performance boat like this J99 safely and efficiently. All these tips apply for cruising boats as well, so it's for anyone who wants to make the most out of their boat when sailing with only two people. Taking the spinnaker down is probably one of the most high pressure moves that a double-handed crew will execute. But there are several things we can do to make it a little bit less risky and slow everything down. And as ever, the key is to be prepared. So as soon as that thing's up in the air, you need to be ready to take it down again. Breaking down the manoeuvre, Make sure that you've decreased the apparent wind to decrease the pressure in the spinnaker. So that means steering using the autopilot on a true wind angle. In a lighter breeze like today, when it's about 10 to 12 knots, I'd choose to steer about 155 true wind angle. Um, and as the breeze increases, you'll need to set the autopilot to sail deeper. Hoist the jib because that's going to give you a good blanket to rotate the spinnaker behind, take the pressure out of it when you can pull it in. Make sure that you've set all of your lines and flaked them properly so they're not going to get knots in it, they're going to run out. So that means the windward spinnaker sheet, the halyard and the tack line all need to be out of the cabin and flaked in the cockpit away from people's feet. The first thing you're going to do is let the tack go Letting the tack go initially will put the spinnaker up in the air, but then it should go around behind the main and the jib. And then one person is going to gather the foot of the spinnaker. Once you've gathered the foot of the spinnaker, then you can start easing the halyard and just both of you pulling the spinnaker in and putting it straight down the companionway. Preparing your lines to run is one of the most crucial jobs for a drop. Now with this asymmetric spinnaker, we're gonna need our tack line to run, the windward sheet as well, not the leeward sheet, but the windward sheet, and then also our halyard. Now a top tip for preparing these lines is that we flake them, we don't coil them. Because when you coil, you can end up with kinks or one loop of coil can kind of trap the rest as it goes. So flaking the lines, my tack line I would normally do on the side deck here and I'm going to start at the bitter end and just flake it out in big hanks so there's no opportunity for it to get caught on things and you'll notice that I don't have a stopper knot in the end of the tack line. Now you might want to think about whether you want a knot in the end of yours or not the idea with this is if we just let the tack, need to let the tack go completely, then the tack line will fly out. But on this boat, it's really easy to re-rig it. If your tack line is internal, then you definitely want to have a stopper knot on it. So the first thing we're doing is putting the jib up. So we've just got some extra wind shadow to drop the spinnaker behind. And in this case, I can't quite get my jib halyard tension right because I'm using this winch, but it's okay because the boat's still downwind and I can get the halyard later. And we want to set the sheet so that the jib is just inside the guardrails, which means the spinnaker's not going to get tangled in the top of the jib as it comes down. Now we get ready for the drop. Now you might want to play around with where you stand or sit for the drop. Um, we're going to do it with one person on the side deck gathering the foot in and then passing the body of the spinnaker back to me to put down the companionway. But you might, may find that actually pulling the whole spinnaker around into the companionway in one move is easier. And this is really something you just need to try on your boat with your team and see how you get on. So to start the manoeuvre, we're going to let the tack go and then pull on the lazy sheet to get the clue in board 
then gather the foot up so that the whole of the spinnaker is behind the mane in a sausage. Ready? Ready. Okay, tacks off. Once that foot's in, we can control, start easing the halyard and I can start grabbing the spinnaker and putting it down here. Now I've preset this halyard to allow an initial metre to dump off. And now it's on the winch. We've both got hands on the spinnaker and I can control the speed of the drop from the winch. A useful technique for recovering the spinnaker in bigger breeze is the letterbox drop. Now this can be done with either an asymmetric spinnaker or a, or a symmetrical spinnaker. And the idea is that you execute the drop exactly the same way as you normally would. So you're releasing the windward side of the spinnaker, allowing the sail to rotate behind the main and then pulling it down. But instead of pulling it under the boom where there's a big air gap and wind can still fill it, you're actually pulling it through the gap between the mainsail and the boom. And that's just squeezing all the air out of the spinnaker, forcing it behind the mainsail. And it just makes it a little bit safer for pulling the sail in. To prepare for this kind of drop, flake out your halyards and your lazy sheets, guys, as normal and then just take your lazy sheet or your retrieval line, pass it between the foot of the main and the boom, and then you're ready to go. Okay, ready to drop. So the bow's going down first. The tack's coming off, and now we can pull the whole sail round. Start pulling that foot through that gap. Try and gather the foot. That's really nice. 